Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode sode of Hillbilly Select Reviews Wine. I'm gonna do some wine. I got some free wine. I got some Canyon Road and I've cracked it and I've tasted it already because I couldn't wait. Look at that. Canyon Road from California. 2016 Seven Young Block. It is made by Gallo. Gallo, it's an inexpensive. It was uh, this little shoot off from Gallo was started the label in 1980. Uh, they sourced their wines from all over California. Gallo is very consistent with the wine. It's not a high quality, but it's a good, consistent quality wine, generally. With Gallo, I know what they're doing. Uh, this one's well under $10. I looked it up. I got it free, but uh, you might be able to get it for as low as $6. Uh, came with a screw cap, which I love, because if you're buying a wine real quick, because you're having a picnic or something, or you're buying an inexpensive wine, and the last thing you want to have to do is spend a couple dollars on a, on a, on a cheap wine screw, because you're... you're that the whole idea of buying a cheap wine is not to have to do that. So, uh, Sauvignon Blanc uh, goes well with uh, shellfish, grilled vegetables. If I love grilled asparagus, so this would be perfect for that. Light salads. By light salad, I mean not a heavy dressing on it like blue cheese or something. So salad, grilled vegetables, shellfish, what's shellfish? Um, shrimp, uh, oysters, things of that nature. Sushi, even light fish. Not a big oily fish. So, Although I think it would go good with salmon, yeah, because of the acidity and stuff. Now, this is made famous in the Loire Valley of France. This was grown in California. The difference between French and California Sauvignon Blanc. The French Sauvignon Blanc is generally um, less fruity. It's more mineral, more grassy type. The fruit is hidden. California, because of the sun and different things, the soil tends to be more fruit, a little more fruity. So, uh, I have this chilled real nice and... Uh, at first, I had it chilled right out of the refrigerator. It's almost too cold, but that's okay. I don't want it warm, but as it warms up a little, some more stuff came out. So I can tell you what I tasted. I, the other thing is, when you with this, you want it real light colored, even with a, a, a green tinge to it. And the reason you want a green tinge is because you want them to make this when the grapes aren't necessarily totally ripe. Because when they make this and the grapes are totally ripe, the wine doesn't taste as well. This varietal is better with, with them being just a little bit green and you get that little green tinge or certainly a light yellow. You don't want a dark yellow. So this fits the bill. Had a great smell to it. Um, just light fruits. You know, I, I think that 90% of the people would pick out some type of apple, whether it be green, red, or, or um, uh, yellow. Uh, could peaches, nectarines, melons, that's the kind of smell you're going to get out of that. I'm not saying you're going to get all of them. Some of you will, some of you won't. But I think that if I had 100 people do it, 90 would pick at least some of those fruits in there. I think that's pretty evident. So you're going to get a fruit out of there. Everybody's palate's different, so I can't tell you. You know, I got uh, kind of a uh, an apple that was kind of sweet and then tart at the same time. So like a green apple, uh, but it had some sweetness to it. Uh, then I, I thought I tasted uh, some melon as it warmed up a little bit. So it's got that tartness, but it's got that fruity sweetness. So it's, it's good. It's a dry wine, but the fruit always makes it seem a little sweeter. So I, I like that. I like that with the tartness. It's a clean wine. It's good for an aperitif. Aperitif. So before dinner, this kind of gets your mouth watering and gets you ready to eat, right? Gets your digestion flowing. It's also good on a hot day just to sit out and sip um, or to go with the foods I mentioned. Yeah, just to make sure it's chilled down pretty good. And I think a lot of people would uh, enjoy this wine. It's a, it's a nice, light, crisp, clean, beautiful summer wine. Uh, man, that goes good with a salad. Just, it just does. A light salad, and you're feeling good, and you're eating healthy, and you're drinking this clean, crisp wine. And everything will be good in the world, trust me. So, uh, as a gift, you know, it's an expensive wine. People worry about, you know, you want to spend a little more weed. It's kind of stupid, but I'm that way, you know. I hate to bring over something. Somebody looks it up. It's five dollars, six dollars. You no, know, it might be good and everything, but if you're if you're if you're going somewhere and you're going to a picnic or you're going to the beach or somewhere and you want to grab something out of the cooler at the wine store, or you you know you have some ice in the chest, and this is a good one. You don't need a wine, you know, uh, corkscrew. Uh, it's not world class, but it's good solid quality. Um, I'm looking at it here and. Uh, 
you know, it's got a nice flavor to it, and I think you'll enjoy it. And for the price, I think you'll really enjoy it. It's got the nice screw cap, which is good. You don't have to worry. You don't want it. You throw it away. Bring some solo cups. I mean, it, look, if you're going out to the beach or something like that, it, that's, that's how you're going to drink it. You throw all your garbage away, you go home. This isn't a million-dollar wine here. Now, you can drink it out of a nice glass like this, and I enjoy doing that. And that's fine, and you could certainly serve it to anybody, and this might be better to serve for somebody who's not a giant wine drinker than, than one that's got a little more complexity, because they might not be able to pick it out. So, everything's relative. Um, this is a good basic wine. If I was having a party, and I was just having some reds and some whites, and you know how you do, uh, with a mix of people, this would be a good one to have out there. Um, so, I like rosés in the summer. But this one here, you got to give it a try. Sauvignon Blanc, and this one here is Canyon Road. But... Um, but give some California savvy. I mean, try it with the French. It'd be very interesting. So from Hillbilly Select Reviews, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And um, I think I will pour a little more of this. It's getting around supper time here. And then I'll have, uh, I'll have I'm not even sure what the hell I'm eat tonight, but I'll figure something out. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to have a glass of this. I got everything done today. I got my push-ups done, my sit-ups done. I've walked. I right? uh, got my weight lifting in, showered. Got dressed for the video, do the video, now I get to rack, relax the rest of the night. I got all that stuff done, all right? Every day I look at that, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Anyway, got it done, I'm feeling good. All right, everybody, cheers. Thank you again for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you.